Hey everyone, Jan here, codingwithjan.com. So, Shopify's CLI, a powerful command line interface, that's what CLI stands for, that allows you to work on apps or themes using your own local development environment. In today's video, I want to answer two questions that you might have as a beginner. First, why is it even useful or important? And then second, how to get started using the CLI. Should be quite helpful, and if you need more support, Check out the links in the description or just leave a comment. Okay, so then let's get started by answering the question why using your own local development environment is useful to begin with, especially when working with themes. So a lot of beginners, when they're starting out with theme development, tend to make changes right in Shopify's built-in editor. Yeah, so for any theme in your library, you can click on edit code, get access to all the theme files within this internal editor, and then start making changes right away. That is not bad per se, but the built-in editor and its features are also kind of limited. So that's why more advanced developers usually prefer to use an editor of their choice, for example, Visual Studio Code, which you can install for free and it's also pretty much industry standard. And by doing so, you also get benefits such as using extensions that help you in your workflow or better syntax highlighting, auto-completion, liquid snippets, auto-formatting and beautifying your code automatically, hot reloading whenever you make changes so that you don't have to refresh the page all the time. And Visual Studio Code also allows you to search for certain elements across all theme files at once so that you have an easier time finding the right position within the theme files. Okay, so now that we have a rough understanding of why this CLI might be useful, let's talk about the next steps and that would be installing the CLI. And here I think the best way to start is at the end. So in the end, you want to be able to bring up any terminal. This could be your Windows terminal, Mac terminal, or the small terminal within VS Code. And you want to be able to type Shopify version. And here you want to see any version greater than 3.0. Yeah, so CLI version 3.x. By the time I'm recording this, there's even like a new update available. Didn't update yet. Um, but yeah, anything greater than three will do the trick. Now, what you don't want to see on the other hand are messages such as Shopify is not a recognized command or red error messages. If that's the case, you might want to revisit the steps I'm about to show you, or you can also paste your error message into Google. Yeah, usually they will give you a quick answer, but there are so many different operating systems out there and different things that could go wrong. I really can't mention them all here. And as a developer, you also have to practice the skill of debugging these things. That's going to be really important. But yeah, with that being said, let's take a look at how to install the CLI. Okay, then the first step towards getting started is going to be this page right here from the official Shopify docs, how to install the CLI, uh, obviously link in the description. And then you can check for your operating system, whether you're using Mac, Windows or Linux. Yeah, if you're using Linux, I probably can't help you. I don't know if anyone can. <laughs> I'm joking, but you're certainly making your life a bit harder. So yeah, my personal preference would be Mac or Windows. And the tools you need are at least kind of similar or there's some overlap. So for example, you need to install Node.js, which is a JavaScript runtime environment. Um, fancy way of saying it allows you to run JavaScript on your computer, not only in the browser. Then Ruby, a programming language, you might have heard that before. You don't need to learn the language, but the CLI needs some dependencies. Git should be installed. And if you're using Windows, also Bundler, which is a Ruby gem, a Ruby package. Um, you don't need to yeah, know what that means exactly, but you need to install it. And what I also recommend is that after installing any of these, you double check if the installation was successful. So for example, after installing Node.js, you want to bring up your terminal again and then type Node-V as in version. Okay, and then you can see I got a node version greater than 16 installed. Perfect, exactly as per requirement. And that's how you know it works. And maybe if something doesn't work, you can also restart the computer once or at least restart the terminal. Sometimes that needs to happen in order to load up all the new dependencies correctly. And then likewise, you can do that for all the other tools. So you can type Ruby dash dash version, git dash dash version, and since Bundler is a Ruby gem or Ruby extension, as I mentioned, you got to type gem list. And this is sorted alphabetically, so it should be somewhere here. Okay, then after you've installed all the requirements and really make sure to debug each step along the way. Yeah, you don't want to move forward if something doesn't work as expected. As I mentioned, sometimes you might also need to restart the computer or start the command prompt as an administrator, just thinking out loud here. But once everything is working, you can then scroll down here 
and find the corresponding command for installing the CLI. On Mac, it's gonna be this one right here and Windows and Linux, the following. So let me just copy and paste this. Paste into your terminal and then just run the command. This might also take a while if you do this for the first time. And now I fast forwarded this and then once everything is complete, you should finally be able to type Sharpify version. And as you can tell, now I'm also on the most recent version, at least at the time I'm recording this. And again, you might have to restart your terminal, you might have to restart your computer once if something isn't working. You can debug all the previous steps, step by step, yeah, if any of these like requirements didn't install properly. But with that in place, you should be good to go to use the CLI. Okay, so then after successfully installing the CLI, the next step would obviously be using it. So maybe you want to connect to a store and then download a theme. And this page here is going to be extremely helpful. Shopify CLI commands for themes, also in the description. And this is going to be quite extensive, so this might even deserve a video on its own. But one simple command to get started would be Shopify theme and then pull, yeah, just to download a theme. So let me show you this. First, you want to pay attention to the working directory you're currently in with the terminal. Um, you could also create a dedicated development folder or something like that. So let's do that really quick. Um, this command just creates a new folder on Windows. You can also do that by hand, uh, right click somewhere, new folder. But yeah, then let me navigate into this new folder. So change the working directory to this new development folder. And then I want to type Shopify theme pull followed by dash dash store and then you want to provide the my shopify url of the store you're working in so in my case that could be my development store coding with yandev.myshopify.com and once you hit enter it will guide you through the authentication process let's see if that works so now we have to log in press any key to bring up the browser all right successfully logged in here and then once that worked successfully, you will be presented with a list of all the themes in the store. Since this is my private development store, it's like super unorganized here. I have a ton of theme copies. This is actually embarrassing, guys. I mean, not embarrassing enough to cut it out, but enough to mention it and hopefully get away with it. <laughs> Anyways, then you can select the theme you want. Let's say you want to download the live theme. So you just hit one. And here you can see that it took roughly two minutes to download the theme. And then once you navigate into that folder, yeah, this is the working directory, remember, user slash yan slash dev. And that exact folder is right here. And then all the theme files have been downloaded. But yeah, that was just a super quick outlook. I think the workflow deserves a video on its own. This one was more for how to get started, how to install the CLI, and why it's useful to begin with. Really hope this was helpful and you learned something new. And if you need more support, leave a comment or check out the links in the description. And yeah, of course, also, have an amazing rest of your day. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye.